the year where all your sins are forgotten and you are born anew. Now don't get me wrong, just because you go and you say, Father forgive me for this shot I'm about to take, you're not gonna wake up any f***ing prettier the next morning. You're not gonna go all Disney and turn into Cinderella. What's gonna happen is the reverse. You're gonna go right back to that ugly f***ing pumpkin you were last year. You're gonna get all dressed up, alright? You're gonna go out and dance under the fireworks, you're gonna kiss a bottle of champagne at midnight, and you're gonna wake up the next morning to a f***ing sea cat. Patrick, you f***ing pumpkin. But I digress. One of my favorite moments from New Year's Eve was eating a Grand Slam breakfast at an IHOP. Because nothing says I love my alcoholic downwards spiraling life like spilling maple syrup all over my tuxedo while feeding a stray dog waffles and sipping splashberries. It was awesome! Until the waiter came over and complained about my stray dog and tried to take away my unfinished pancakes. Excuse me? Do you pick up a cobra and fling it around like it's a goddamn shake weight? No you don't! No! You don't take away my unfinished pancakes. I will stab your crusty hobbit hand. I will finish my pancakes while I watch you bleed out on the goddamn ground. You f***ing pumpkin. Onwards! Well, my friend shot a firework into his boat and accidentally put it on fire. All the way, it's gonna be a hard night. So he wanted to fire a rocket from his ass while he was standing on the deck. Now, now, I know that wasn't the smartest move. But sometimes, what doesn't kill you makes you an idiot. I mean, damn, bro. You literally shit out what looked like an angry celestial fire spirit. So he lights it up, and the second he starts to fire, he panics under the pressure of his burning ass hair. He tips over, fireworks shooting all over his goddamn boat, and we have to put out his fucking mistake using our tuxedos. James, you fucking pumpkin, to the next one! The cab ride to the club. Now, every once in a while, cab drivers are crusty, scrooge acting. Greed bags that want you to sit quietly while they slowly suck you out of your life savings and life energy. Not, not like a hooker, but more like a, a Dementor from Harry Potter. Although, I once had a hooker called Dementor. Anyways, this is the kind of cab driver that we got. He was circling around the block while pumping the meter, telling us to sit back and shut the f up so he could listen to some sort of, I don't know, foreign opera. If I were to sit around in quiet misery and listen to what sounds like torture music, I would go to a goddamn funeral. Preferably yours. Mr. I got the same name as a hooker. You <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> and finally, the strip club. Because I blacked out at 11, and then I woke up two minutes past 11 with a tall stripper named Tatiana. Double down! Review. <laughs> I had apparently promised to make her my majestic snow tigress of a bride. I would teach her real estate investing, and she would teach me how to drink uh, vodka. It was a match made in heaven. Until my uh, credit card got maxed out. Tatiana, we could have had something special, something unique, but you decided to put money before your heart, you f***ing pumpkin. And that's it guys, that's some of the best and worst memories that I had on my New Year's Eve. Tell me about your worst and best memories of New Year's Eve down in the comments below. Like and subscribe and send this to, you know, your friends or your mother or your boyfriend or girlfriend, I mean, you know, your family. Actually, I don't give a shit who you send it to. You send it to somebody. Cheers. Cheers.